Simon Stainlord has scored in all three rounds of the Cup so far for QPR and is their top scorer with 18 goals. And that's only seven fewer than Palace as a club have scored all season. But the Palace goalkeeper Paul Barron can point to the other side of the coin. Palace have a great defensive record of late. Six of their last eight games have been clean sheets. Well, here's the Queen's Park Rangers side, and manager Terry Venables delayed his choice until midfield player John Gregory and striker Mike Flanagan had fitness tests. Both passed them this morning and play, as did midfield man Gary Waddock. Gary Micklewhite is the Rangers' sub. As for Crystal Palace, Billy Gilbert is in the defence and plays alongside Steve Wicks, and Jim Cannon is moved out of the back four into midfield. Jerry Murphy is also back into midfield after suspension, and David Giles from Swansea plays his first cup tie for his new club. The referee is John Hunting of Leicester. And the crowd at Loftus Road, 24,000, but the receipts are around 75,000 pounds. So Ranger Skellers underway, attacking the goal to our left, what's sure to be a raucous London derby game. Rangers in the blue and white hoops, Crystal Palace today in the chain strip of red and blue stripes. Gerard was at him again. Harry. Humbled over by Smiley, and Harry still sitting it out for a moment. Now Neil playing a nice ball through for Flanagan. Into that famous left foot. Might be there for Stainlord. Good save by Barron, and Stainlord was where it mattered again. But it was presented to him by the Palace defence. In fairness, all over the place there. Suddenly Stainlord had a bit of space, but Barron was down there. What a Donovan playing it back for Hazel. He might get a shot in here. Gilbert versus Stainrod, it was Gilbert's touch. And now here's Bolter. Good left foot there, play towards Hilaire, but he wanted to turn up the second one. Hazel beat him, and here's Stainrod. A deflection. And a scare that's over for Paris. It's the corner of a Flanagan. It looked as though it had to be a penalty, no. It looked as though it had to be a penalty. The referee was pushed away by Bolter off the line by his hands, and they are surrounding the referee as Wicks got in there. From that angle, it wasn't at all easy to see. But I must say, my impression from up here was that it was clearly pushed out by the Palace fullback. But it's a corner, and it's not a penalty. Could have been a great let up for Palace, but for how long? Curry trying to turn it back again. Now, a long kick by Hucker. That was a good move on his part because he spotted that Rex was right out there and he thought he'd get his forwards going and he's found Clive Allen and now to Simon Stainrod, charged down by Gilbert. Well, if anything had come of that, you'd have to give him an awful lot of credit to the quick thinking of goalkeeper Hucker. Picked on now towards Flanagan. Play now for Allen. Oh, a marvellous save by Barron. Tremendous bit of goalkeeping by Paul Barron when it looked as though Clive Allen was in the clear. A lovely pass played by Flanagan, perfectly weighted and beautifully saved. So a corner again for QPR. Loaded in there once more, and it was Kevin Mabbitt who got it away. And in the end, it's bouncing and twisting and spinning off Curry, but safely back again with Paul Barr. Curry, in the space here now, Flanagan, supported by Gregory. What a going away down the right. Played in towards Flanagan again, it comes off Hinchelwood, and a chance for Gilbert to hoik it once more in the touch. 
Dark Whistle. Just a few seconds early in point of fact. But a great save by Barron from Clive Allen, who seemed to be through. An escape may be for Crystal Palace because uh, Rangers thought quite strongly they should have had a penalty when David Bolter appeared to handle on the line. There's somebody there who knows all about tense and important cup ties, former England captain Bobby Moore. but beaten by the back heel. Bolter beaten by it. And Neil playing it in for Stainrod. Onto the left foot, trying to curl it there. That would have just crept in. Stainrod cursing maybe the fact that he didn't hit it a little more firmly. Good run here by uh, the young fullback. Warren Neal plays a good ball back for Stainrod. Onto the left foot. And Barron again equal to it down at the far post. Stainrod again and from a long way out. That very nearly caught Barron out. And that would have been the longest range goal of the season almost. Except for a certain freak by Ian Bolden of Watford up at Godwin. That was a long, long shot taken on spec. And Barron was backpedalling and had to push it away for the corner. Stainrod. Oh, he's got to the byline. Could be a problem here for Palace. Corner given. And Rangers are convinced today and they should have had a penalty right on that byline. Stainrod goes in and is pulled down. If the referee decides it's a corner, and it was a very positive pointing to the corner spot. There were no doubts in John Hunting's mind. Here comes the corner, though. Flanagan again with it. And Gilbert got his head to that one, Smiley. And Giles... Oof. Harry could have had his head kicked off there, ducking in on that one, but it's for Waddock instead, trying to get a 1-2 going, and... Uh, Wicks did well, his strength held out, and his pass finds Smiley, and here come Palace again, Smiley going all the way, and in the end, Gillard came in, when Smiley had both Hilaire and Mavid on his right. Hazel away, Flanagan, taking it on, Stainrod, Bolter, oh, he got caught up there a little bit, did Bolter, still Stainrod, for the corner. And their uh, efforts to keep Queen's Park Rangers out. But here comes the corner now from Tony Curry. Very deep one. Stainrod nodding it on. Rhoda's right in there. And in the end, the keeper, oh, he got it and lost it, and the whistle gone and went to his rescue. Just in fleeting impression there for a moment that Paul Barron may have taken it a little too comfortably, maybe the whistle had gone, I don't know, but it's knocked out of his hands and he could just have been in a bit of trouble there, although he was well backed up by Bolter. Curry. Played in for Gregory. Wicks felt that the back pass was too dangerous and he was right because Allen and Flanagan were both in there, hacked it away for the corner, and so there's more pressure on Paris now, with four minutes remaining. Again Rhoda, and again Hazel are forward, and again we wonder if Palace can hold out.
into the net. And the stewards are just getting one or two of the fans off the field. Clive Allen's 11th goal. And what does he say now? Steve Pember, the acting manager. And the referee's in trouble now. He's pulled a muscle as well. And is struggling to keep going. Thank you. 